And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday. It's the 12th of May, 2021. It was on this date in 1215, England's barons delivered an ultimatum to King John, which led to the Magna Carta. He had taxed the barons and the church heavily to fund the Third Crusade, pay for unsuccessful wars, and so they brought him this document, which would limit the absolute power of the monarchy and pave the way for the formation of parliament. It said, among other things, no free man shall be arrested or imprisoned or deprived of his property or outlawed or exiled or in any way destroyed, nor shall we go against him or send against him unless by legal judgment of his peers or by the law of the land." It's the birthday of Edward Lear, born in the London suburb of Holloway, 1812, the 20th of 21 children, suffered from epilepsy, suffered frequent bouts of depression, and came out with his book of nonsense, silly stories, verses, limericks, including The Owl and the Pussycat. It's the birthday of the novelist and poet Rosalind Brown, Philadelphia, author of Tender Mercies and Half a Heart, who said, I still write for the same reason I wrote when I was nine years old, to speak more perfectly than I really can to a listener more perfect than any I know. Writing, getting something down on the page, is the gratification that I have trouble postponing. Here's a poem for today by Ezra Pound, The River Merchant's Wife, A Letter. While my hair was still cut straight across my forehead, I played about the front gate, pulling flowers. You came by on bamboo stilts, playing horse. You walked about my seat, playing with blue plums. And we went on, living in the village of Chokan, two small people without dislike or suspicion. At fourteen, I married my lord, you. I never laughed, being bashful. Lowering my head, I looked at the wall. Called to a thousand times, I never looked back. At fifteen, I stopped scowling. I desired my dust to be mingled with yours. Forever and forever and forever. Why should I climb the lookout? At sixteen, you departed. You went into far Kutoyen by the river of swirling eddies. And you have been gone. Five months. The monkeys make sorrowful noise overhead. You dragged your feet when you went out. By the gate now the moss is grown. The different mosses. Too deep to clear them away. The leaves fall early this autumn in wind. The paired Butterflies are already yellow with August. Over the grass in the West Garden, they hurt me. I grow older. If you are coming down through the narrows of the River Kiang, please let me know beforehand, and I will come out to meet you as far as Chofusa. A poem by Ezra Pound, The River Merchant's Wife, A Letter. That's the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, May the 12th. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.